Hi, I'm David from Levika Photography, and today I'm going to be talking about the Traver Hot Shoe Adapter. And this is a handy little unit for your Sony A6000. Now, in the past, I have done uh, a couple of videos on how to fix the Sony Hot Shoe because we know that the A6000 Hot Shoe is very buggy. I imagine it's buggy on the RX1 and the RX1R. I haven't Googled it yet, but those look painted. Looks like they might have the same issue. Anyway, you remove the paint out of the hot shoe and that gives you a better connection. I did one video where I moved the paint entirely. A lot of you were concerned about the warranty. So then if you remove the paint from just the rails and the springs up here, that also seems to work. Uh, but if you're still having connection problems, then I highly recommend one of these little adapters. And in this case, this is for Nikon. And this is the Traver hot shoe adapter. It goes from the Sony multi-terminal setup to, in this case, my Nikon uh, mounted flash. And it slides right on here. Uh, now, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that, um, oh, I got it backwards here, and I've got this thing all locked down. One thing that you have to keep in mind is this is only, it only ensures a better connection. So it does not give you ET, or TTL or high speed sync capability. What it does give you is manual mode and a very good connection. Okay, so uh, the syncing with this has pluses and minuses. Because the camera does not see the flash, it allows you to sync at 250th of a second. That's the good side of it because you're shooting in manual mode and the camera doesn't see it because Sony for some reason decided that all their cameras should sync at 1 60th of a second which by the way Sony is a bunch of crap just open it up to 250 so that way we can use it at a slightly higher speed we'd appreciate that but anyway uh, if you were able to see the flash and the flash wasn't high speed sync you would be stuck at 1 60th of a second so it's actually kind of good that you can't see it. Uh, this also works with any wireless trigger that you want to shove on there. Uh, I know that for sure that these come in um, multi-terminal to Nikon, multi-terminal to Canon, multi-terminal to Sony, older terminal uh, ADI or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so it does come with the PC sync uh, port and on this particular flash it also has the same sync port uh, this is a very cheap alternative to do a wired flash if your flash has this port uh, it allows you to just use a standard sync cable and sync cables have been around for decades and decades so you can find one used just about any legacy camera store or you can hop on online and find them for dirt cheap the Sony multi-terminal cable is 50 bucks plus the adapter to go to the multi-terminal hot shoe at the other end is another 10 bucks. So you're going to spend 60 bucks for a coiled cable that's extremely heavy. PC sync cables are very light and they're just this, you know, thin wire with little tiny ports that plug in both sides so they don't take up any weight in your bag. And they're also 10 bucks new on eBay. So it's not like you're spending a ton of money. Uh, to get wired off-camera capability. So that is one option with this. Uh, so I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later. You have a good day.